get into it. Um, there are some things that have had quite a bit of progress. I haven't actually finished anything, but that's okay, because yeah, year-long project. As long as you're getting movement, it's a good thing. So first of all, we have the Anastasia... First of all, we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder in Caramel. It, it, it still looks exactly the same. I, every time I do my makeup, I do my brows. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it seriously, it never looks any different. And I try to work in exactly the same area, and that doesn't seem to be helping either. Um, and I just run my brush between the two different colours because uh, one side's a bit too warm. So. And I'm not the kind of person who does them lighter at the front and darker at the end. They're the same colour the whole way through. That's, that's just how I do my brows. Uh, next one is Beige Rose from Maybelline. I didn't touch this at all because um, I was focusing on um, another lipstick, which is in this project. Uh, Clump Crusher Mascara for C. It is still going. It is my preferred bottom lash mascara because it does not transfer. It is still doing what it is supposed to do. Just keep on using that. I mean, we are three months into the year, so technically I've been using it for three months exactly, because I started it at the start of this project. But I'm going to give it at least six months, because I only use it on my bottom lashes, and I'm that person. Um, uh, D and E have both been used up. They were in the last, or decluttered. <laughs> what a, yeah, what, I think pretty much both were decluttered uh, last time around. Uh, then we have Fuego Lip Liner for F. I didn't touch this one in March because I was focusing on one that was in another project. Um, for G, we have the Gold Coal from L'Oreal. This is Pigment Eyeliner. I don't think I use this at all. Again. Uh, the HD Powder from Artist Selection, which is Crowns. Um, it's a brand that Crown sells. I forgot to mark it. I marked everything else. I forgot this one. This one has actually moved. Yay. Mine's big, big. So, that is where we are now. So, a little bit of movement. Um, and that much movement is actually something of a miracle because I only use it to... Uh, set my concealer. Don't use it anywhere else on my face at the moment um, because the foundation that is in here um, sits better, particularly on my forehead, which is my biggest bugbear, if I don't set it. Um, it isn't transfer proof though, which is really annoying. But we'll get to that in a minute. The Anika Pure Primer for I. It it feels lighter. But it still works, therefore I don't know how much it's in here. Um, I guess I'll know when I press the button and nothing comes out. So. Um, then for J, we have Jane from Zoya Nail Polish. This hasn't actually moved. I did not use it at all. I was focusing on other nail polishes. The Cryolon Concealer Wheel for K, I have used this a couple of times, but the nature of this product means that it is actually really, really hard to tell because you only use a little bit. Um, I tend to use um, this one, this one here, and this one here the most. This one is the purple neutralizer. This is the blue neutralizer. I tend to use them most underneath my eyes if I have really dark bags under my eyes before I put on my foundation, which is not all the time, so it doesn't get me like used very much. Uh, for L, we have the lip prep from the runway room. It has a teeny tiny little bit of progress. I've been trying to remember to use it every time I put on makeup. Um, on my lips. Uh, 
for M we have more brows from Model Co. This is still going. I don't know how much is left in it, but um, it still seems to have... I kind of have to do this to get it onto the applicator, so I'm guessing it's, it's you know, going down slowly. Um, but I don't know how long this will be. The Natio Bronzer Enhancer, which I use as a highlighter, is N. Um, I will insert a picture from last time alongside this one uh, so you can see the difference. But it is really, really thin over here. It's like not very much. I'm sort of working on this side because I've got like the side pan up there. This has actually been repressed, which is why it looks like this. Um, but yeah, it's really thin through here. Progress is being made. Then we have the Obscure Pigment from Glamour Dull Eyes. I haven't touched it this month. And the Periwinkle Eyeshadow I also have not touched from Revlon. For Q we have Quicksand, which is a nail polish from Sally Hansen. And my line is like super thick and got smudged, but that is where we are. We have had progress this month. Yay! Um, and Red Flare from Orly. Again, we've had a little tiny bit of progress on that one. The For S, we have the Spear um, Eye Pencil, which is a, which is a dirty... It probably needs sharpening. Um, <laughs> it's an eyeliner, like a nude eyeliner. I think I only used it like once or twice. It hasn't moved. Its line hasn't moved. I haven't sharpened it this month, so yeah. Uh, for tea, we have the True Blend Foundation from CoverGirl. That is where I've put my line. So there is progress. It, it might be lower than that. It's really hard to tell because it sticks up on the side, but I have problems with the pump all the time, um, so there might actually be a lot less in there than I realise. Um, I don't like this stuff, I really don't, um, but I found that the best way for me to actually, I was actually going to declutter this, I was so close to decluttering this, um, I found that the best thing to do is to apply it with my hands and not to set it anywhere. The only problem is this is not transfer proof, so um, if I like go like this with my hand, I end up with foundation on my finger or wherever, which is really, really annoying. Um, but I, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm still working on it. I haven't given up on it yet. Kind of wanting, but I haven't. <laughs> uh, for you, we have the Urban Coral nail polish from Maybelline. Didn't touch it last month. And the NYX Vivid Bright um, Eyeliner. I think I used it once in March. Um, but I really haven't been. But it didn't really fit with the colour scheme that I was wearing. So a lot of for March. So I didn't really use it. Uh, for W we have the MAC Well Dressed Blush. I did use this quite a bit. This has quite... You're probably not going to be able to tell. But it does actually have quite a sizable dip in it on one side. Uh, I think it's that side. Yeah, in this region here it has quite a sizable dip, but I don't know how long it will be until it hits pan at the very least. But I just keep on working on it. I actually have to build it up quite a bit. It's not, like I'm wearing it today on camera, like to me looking in the camera it doesn't look like you can see it very well but I do have to work at it quite a bit to get any um, payoff. For X we have the XOXO nail polish from Ulta 3 and look at that massive great jump in it. Wow that's amazing how did you use so much nail polish? Well <laughs> one of my other nail polishes one of my other projects called Jaded from Revlon I don't like it very much. I was going to declutter it, um, a, but I was trying to wear it a lot in March because it fit in with a, another project I was doing. Oh, please. Yeah. Anyway, 
I was wearing it quite a bit and then I would put this over the top of it um, and it made a really nice pretty look because this has actually got a little bit of holographic in it so it was a really pretty look and I thought hang on a minute what about if I franken polish so I put a whole bunch of jaded and a whole bunch of XOXO into this this was actually a top coat thing that I emptied out because it's a terrible top coat it stinks really really bad uh, so when I made it it was up there and it's actually now down there I uh, still don't like jaded at all I still don't like the 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 addition of XOXO has improved it minusculely, um, but considering it's supposed to be a fast dry uh, nail polish, it doesn't dry fast, it's super duper streaky, it's so annoying, um, but I'm, you know, but because I wore this colour so much during March, I probably won't touch it again for a couple of months because I don't like it that much. Uh, the other nail polish which was why is Yodel Me on my cell. This doesn't look any different because I didn't use it. And lastly, we have the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Zurich 4Z. This was the lipstick I was focusing on in March. Wore it quite a bit. I do have, like, I'm wearing it now over the top of a different lip liner. Um, this is generally how I've been wearing it. It's over the top of a red lip liner that is in another project. Um, and I quite like how it looks. On its own, it's a little bit too warm, and uh, not entirely, like, I like it, it's, at least it's not a really pale nude. Um, actually, what I'll do, it's sort of the kind of darkness that I prefer in a nude, that might be slightly altered by the fact that I put it over a red lip liner and it gets on the applicator, but, um, yeah. But I don't know how much is in here, and you can't see through this packaging, so um, I'm pretty sure this is not. Yeah, scraping on the side, you can't see it, so I'm pretty sure this is just like not opaque, uh, not transparent packaging at all, so no idea how much is in here. Quite enjoyed wearing it. I do find it a little tiny bit drying, but that's fine. So that is the progress I have made on this particular project in March. Uh, everybody else involved will be linked down below and the group as always. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there, click the bell if you want to get notifications. Leave me a thumbs up if you like project pan type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!